Hi guys, this is Nico Cooper with Neon Tour. So I'm just going to do a, re, a quick review of a piece that we recently received. And I guess I'll start uh, on the crochet eye. No, it's not distortion from the lens. Uh, the um, uh, tip of it, of the SI is, is very, very wide. Um, this is what we call a Kurabe Uma crochet eye. And we don't see it very often. There's a few examples of these in some museums. Um, you can see this beautiful Shakudo uh, dragon, uh, followed with some more Shakudo over here. Let's see if I can get in there. It's uh, two Shishi dogs. Really, really nice. So the kosher eye is papered. Let's see, there's uh, several um, certificates by the MBTHA, the blades Tokubetsu Hozo, and the kosher eye itself is um, uh, Hozon. There's a full shape of it. Um, and the tsuba, which is a very old tsuba, is also uh, has its own papers. There's dragons. And so the uh, tsuka is interesting. It's uh, all you know, soft metal of silver here, uh, shakudo, um, uh, beneath the dragons, and the makugi is copper, just like the kashira, which is dragons as well. Really, really cool koshe and nice, beautiful dragon with the kin. Um, what's it got? Signed as well. Kokatana is signed. And the blade. Uh, the blade is something. It is a signed ubu. Um, it's signed. Yamato Daijo Fujiwara Masanori. And this is Shodai, which is a Ryuazamono ranked for sharpness. And it's Hirazuki style. The Hamon is to die for. It really is an incredible, incredible Hamon. Very active, very active uh, green as well. It's really beautiful. Look at how bright that Hataraki is. And um, Masanori, uh, so he, Masanori was active, this is Shodan Masanori, so he was active at the very, very, very beginning of um, Edo, at the very end of Murmachi, off on, into uh, Edo period. And this blade is definitely one of my favorite. Come see us at nihontoart.com. And we'll uh, try to add this uh, shortly, but you can always reach out to us. Bye.